Hey everybody, in this video we'll be talking about estimating quotients with two-digit divisors. In our previous video we watched one on just one-digit divisors, now it's going to get really fun. So grab some paper and a pencil and let's go ahead and get started. To remind you, in our previous video we were talking about how some things get along really well together, other things like two bulls fighting over a pizza pizza, which you probably don't want to be in the way of, don't get along very well. When we're estimating quotients, we want to do things in our head easily. We need to think about numbers that get along, like fact family numbers. So once again, when we estimate quotients, we need to look for numbers that quote-unquote get along with each other, fact family numbers to be specific. Our first problem today is 331 divided by 54. And we want to estimate the quotient of this. We want to turn it into some number that's easy to do in our head without a calculator or even on paper. What we're going to do, just like when we work with one-digit divisors, we're going to look at first our 5 and our 33. We're going to look at fact family numbers for that. I want you to ignore the 4 and the 54, and I want you to ignore the 1 and the 331. What fact family numbers get along here? We know that 33 cannot easily be divided by 5. They don't get along. So let's do some work on the side over here. 5 times 1 is 5. Remember, I'm trying to get close to the number 33. 15. 5 times 4 is 20. We're getting closer. 5 times 5 is 25. Getting even closer yet. Ooh, now we're super close. All right. Now I've gone over 33, so I'm going to stop. Which of these fact families is pretty close to the number 33? I'd say probably this one right here. Okay, so our 33 is going to turn into a 35. So this is what we know so far. The next thing we're going to do is this one up here, just gonna become a zero. And our 4 over here is also just going to become a 0. All right? 35 divided by 5 is 7. And then to make this even easier on ourselves, we have a 0 on this side and a 0 on this side of the problem. And when that happens, you can just cross those out. So really, in a sense, our problem just became 35 divided by 5, which is 7. So we made this super complicated problem up here, 331 divided by 54, by finding fact family numbers and estimating, we found that it should be about seven. Here's our next one, 7,481 divided by 81. Remember, we're going to estimate this quotient, and yes, you can do this. So if you're feeling really panicked right now, just take a breath. You can do this. Because remember, the first thing that we're going to start with is looking at our fact family numbers. We know that 74 cannot be neatly divided by 8. They're not fact family numbers. They don't get along. They're that bulls fighting over that piece of pizza. So let's just see if we can do some fact family work over here. I'm just going to skip ahead because I know that we're going to be using bigger numbers. Um, 8 times 8 is 64, which is pretty close to 74, but let's see if I can get another one that's even closer. 8 times 9 is 72, pretty close. 8 times 10 is 80, so I've gone over 74 now, so I'm going to stop. So which of these is pretty close to 74? And I'd say this one right here. Our 74 is going to become a 72, and the rest of our numbers are going to become zeros. So our 81 up here just turns into zeros. We're going to divide that. Our 1 is going to become a 0, okay? So now we can do this in our head. A reminder that when you have a 0 on either side, just cross it off. We have 1 0 over here, 1 0 over here. So now, essentially, our problem becomes 720 divided by 8. And once again, we know from our fact family work over on the side right here, 72 divided by 8 is just 9. And then we have this 0 left over here, 
we just got to bring that down. So the super complicated problem of 7,481 divided by 81, when we estimated the quotient by finding fact family numbers, replacing other numbers with zeros, we got an answer that should be about 90.